Country singer Clay Walker was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 1996. Since then, he's raised awareness about the disease, starting his own organization, Band Against MS. Clay and his wife, Jessica, join me now. Great to have you guys here. Good to see you, Lauren. Thank you for having us. Thank you. So here we are, many years after you got that first diagnosis. Mm -hmm. Take us back to that time and how you found out. It was a very, uh, I guess, desperate time for me, you know, and uh, being diagnosed with MS. I'd never even heard of MS. I didn't know if it was MD or, uh, you know, I was a perfectly healthy 26-year-old man. And um, they said it's multiple sclerosis. And my symptoms were uh, pretty horrific. I was playing basketball with uh, some, of, uh, some of my band members, and I was falling down all over the place, dizzy, double vision, two people you look at you know and two basketball goals and I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't feel my legs my my hand quit working there was just some, it was crazy and fortunately uh, uh, the prognosis that I originally received we've been able to beat that they said that I would be in a wheelchair in four years and dead in eight but fortunately there was um, that was just in 1996 whenever the uh, therapies for multiple sclerosis first started hitting the market. There was nothing before that. So I found a therapy a couple of years later and uh, I'm relapse free 16 straight years. So no progression of the disease and Jessica has played um, a, a huge role in that. Um, it's very important to keep up a routine uh, with MS and stick to it if it's working for you. And so she makes sure that you know three days a week I have to take a shot she lays it out. Every time I take it, she'll say, I love you, I love you, I love you. <laughs> That's so sweet. And this is Caregivers Month, and we've been able to partner with uh, Tevin Neuroscience to, to be able to acknowledge and applaud you know, the caregivers across the United States, whatever the chronic illness is that they're helping take care of. And Jessica has just implemented um, a great structure in our family, with mm -hmm. our children, with myself great diet. She makes me exercise three or four days a week, which I, I, I hate exercising. And now, <laughs> I, but I've never finished a workout and go, man, I wish I wouldn't have done that. Right, right. <laughs> but, you feel energized. But I'm in great after. shape, yeah. the best shape of my life, and uh, I have her to, to thank for that. Oh, that's wonderful. Jessica, what are some of the challenges kind of in the, being that caregiver that you face? Well, I think it's probably most challenging when he does go on the road. If he's gone for a two weeks we'll go with him if he's gone for a long time. But she doesn't trust me as far as taking the <laughs> but, shot and, but and the doing quick the trips, diet. <laughs> the quick trips I worry about him staying on his regimen so I have a couple spies on the road that I'll call and make sure that he's eating well Other and, band and exercising. Yes. Look, going back to that time, what was going through your head when you found out about MS? Well, I, I believed him. You know, yeah. I, 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 be I had no reason to not believe that prognosis. You know, um, it was surreal. You know, I was perfectly healthy with, I mean, fit, everything. And to get that diagnosis uh, and then to try to comprehend what it was, was, it was like everything was in, was garbled or in slow motion. And, and now I'm, I'm, you know, I don't look at MS, multiple sclerosis. I don't fear it. I don't, um, uh, there's just there, there's a different sensibility about it with me mm -hmm. being able to manage it for this long uh, and especially uh, uh, to beat all of those prognoses and you know be able to walk into this interview you know and and be able to ride horses and do all the physical things that I just saw disappearing uh, was devastating to me and and now it's it's a much much different feeling especially with somebody in my life that I love and adore so much and who I feel loves and adores me and, and it's it's a great walk when you have that special person. Oh, well, that's really, that is really nice. You also are trying to get awareness out. You started an organization several years ago. What do you, tell us a little bit about that and what you hope to do with it. Well, Band Against MS is a, a nonprofit charity that I started 10 years ago. And the main focus whenever, or my, my idea was to find a cure for MS and I'm not so sure that that is or should be the immediate focus of it. Mm -hmm. I have I've learned through you know 18 years of having MS that there's a there's an even more important immediate need and that is for people who have MS to live better with it. Well Jessica and Clay thank you so much thank for you. coming in today to share your story. Right, thank you very much.